we have to remember when communicating, sometimes your content doesn't need to be changed. In fact, it doesn't even need to be erased. It needs to be reordered. The other day I had a message. I was pretty hyped about it. I thought this is definitely gonna be good. And then I preached it and in the middle of preaching, I just knew I messed up. This documentary is on YouTube. The last documentary is only available on Patreon. Go to supporttrade.com to join the family. One thing I like about like editing vlogs is I'm able to see the whole thing and then like, you know, change it, throw it out. What I realized in this sermon though, I just all day, the whole rest of the day, I thought, I look at each element and each element I'm, I was proud of. Each element made sense. I thought it was faithful to the text. I thought it was a faithful way to help people in a modern culture. And yet, I just felt like I completely whiffed. Well, I usually just move on to the next one, but I just kept sitting down and thinking, I gotta figure out what I did wrong. So a lot of preaching is packaging. Packaging, why should they care about this? What phrases should you use to get them to realize this matters for me? And that's why I like to do little one-liners and organize series because you package it in a way that even a non-believer would wanna hear you out. But what can be equally as vital is your positioning. And so actually, I, I've been on this health kick, but I watched this podcast and they're interviewing this health expert and she has this idea that first of all, I hope is true, but it's mind boggling because it's so true on the communication experience and preaching and helping people with truth in their own life. There's something amazing that you should know. If you eat the ingredients in the meal in a specific order, you can reduce the glucose spike of that meal by up to 75% without changing how much you're eating, what you're eating. Just the order has a massive impact on your glucose. So you can still eat the same meal with way less spikes and way less consequences. So the right order is veggies first. I should make a t-shirt. Veggies first, <laughs> proteins and fats second, and starches and sugars last. So you can have all the right content, but if you put it in the wrong order, it's not beneficial to the listener. So in my sermon that I was analyzing, my hook was about how we are at the mercy of our feelings and our feelings are merciless. We wanna be guided by our own personal feelings and the point was, this sounds nice, but it leads to misery. What it should have done was set up the context then of John 14, we we're in the I Am series, so he is the way, the truth, the life. It was a Saturday night, I was about done, and I realized there was no real vulnerable moment. There was no real, why is this hard for us today? I wanted to use it to connect, and I was processing and thinking, and I came up with one line that I was really proud of. I said, man, this is gonna be hard, why? Because we live in a culture where choice is the highest value, Tolerance is the highest virtue, and denying oneself is the new unforgivable sin. Now here's what I did that I did wrong. The point wasn't wrong, but the order was. So here's the order I did have. Mercy of our feelings intro. He is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. But now I have this other component about choice, tolerance, and denial. What I decided to do, because I was so excited about this point, was I stuck it right here. I was excited about the line. I figured, hey, this is great, right after the mercy of our feelings. Let me talk about another problem, and that was the issue. I point out a problem, and then I added another problem, and then I went to the biblical text. I think what's better in positioning, I should have said the problem, mercy of our feelings, we don't like to have transcendent truth, but look where it leads us. We need transcendent truth. Let's look at how he is the only way, the only truth, the only life. He is claiming these things, but he can back them up. It would have been wonderful if I then took a pause, took a step back and went, why is this still so hard for us? We know this is true, but why is this hard for us to live out? But especially, why do we have such a fear to share with other people how he is the only way, he is the ultimate truth and he is the abundant life. Well, and then I point out the problem we have in society. It's because we live in a day where choice is the highest value. 
and mention all the way choice is leading us to all sorts of things and how tolerance is the highest virtue. Talk about the difference between tolerance and pluralism and then say, man, and this is really hard for you and for me and for everybody because we are bathed in a culture where denying oneself is the unforgivable sin of our day, right? So choice goes against only way. Tolerance goes against only truth. Denying oneself go, goes against the abundant life. That would have been a great way to package it, to end it. Instead, I confused my audience, my congregation, adding two problems in the beginning, quickly exegeting a text and just kind of saying, now go do it this week. If I had the chance, I would reorder it. 